Well, it's summertime here in Southern California, and that's always a great time to uh, head out of the city and get up into the eastern Sierra. Uh, unfortunately, you got to drive through uh, the Mojave Desert and some pretty uninteresting uh, sections of the Owens Valley just to get up in there. But uh, actually, after going up there all these years, I've been heading up this way since about 1968. Uh, I've actually grown to like and, and uh, appreciate some of these funky little signs that you just keep seeing year after year. Uh, everything uh, kind of a landmark if you've ever driven up here before you'll probably recognize some of these uh, signs that we're showing here but when you finally get there it's great because the uh, you go through about three or four different uh, transition zones and you're actually in a real nice alpine setting which once you get up into the canyon so we had just wrapped up a workshop last weekend and uh, we're doing some pictures for the staff at the Parchers Resort up in Bishop Canyon and the first people we're going to shoot here, we're just using a single uh, softbox. And these first folks are uh, Judy and Jared, uh, the mom and son, two of the key principals that uh, have taken this place over about four years ago. Really nice people, great, uh, great hosts. So we always try to do what we can for them. And they really go out of their way to help our groups out and make everybody comfortable. They needed some images for their website of the staff, so we shot, uh, these are the first couple that we're shooting. And we positioned them to make it look, uh, you know, like an environmental portrait. We wanted them to be in front of uh, some typical mountain scenery here, so we put them in front of the Aspen. And then I just, uh, as you can see, there's some pretty strong backlighting coming in from the sun, so I had the sun behind them, and I'm adding the, the soft box, um, it's an easy box, with a Mets flash uh, off to the right and it's uh, just balanced perfectly to give them a nice uh, nice skin tone exposure balanced with the background Then after we finished them they realized that they'd forgotten the dog so they have a dog up there uh, named Brookie as in uh, Brook Trout so it's amazing how how well uh, Brook cooperated Judy had the famous tennis ball toy there as a as a lure so she'd get Brook to sit down same kind of a th uh, deal with the lighting. We set the dog on the on the wooden paneling there so that it would be fairly comfortable, and had the sun behind behind her so that it would be a nice uh, backlight. And then just moved that softbox in, just like you would for a, a human portrait. And she sat pretty still most of the time. kept her eyes glued to that tennis ball. And every so often she'd jump up and run around and uh, we were able to get her repositioned. Get a couple of profiles here and a couple of straight on shots. This first one here she just glanced off to the side and I just nailed one as she was looking uh, off to the right. It's amazing what you can do with just a single softbox and a flash unit that really is made to go on your camera. It's just a small little METS 58 uh, triggered with a, one of the Ellen Crom uh, sky ports. I had myself down a little bit lower than eye level uh, shooting up. That seemed to be the, the best angle that I could find on, on the dog. And then she'd just uh, fall over that ball. And whenever she looked uh, like she was paying attention, I'd nail a shot and worked out pretty well. I think we had the ISO at 100 and uh, shutter speed at a 30th. Even nice catch lights in the dog's eyes there. 